Let me show you the quickest way to learn bar chords. Hello, my name is Justin. I'm a guitar teacher based in Singapore and I've been teaching about 15 years now. I teach complete beginners how to do bar chords within the first two months. And I would like to share this information with you today. If you like this information and if you found it useful, please do me a favor, give me a follow or watch this video so I can clock the watch time. And I hope to do more videos where I talk about concepts for the beginner guitarist to help you with your journey. So the first thing I'm going to say first is that uh, this is a bit controversial, but I don't believe in half bar chords. I know that's really weird because for a lot of you, you think that you need to learn half bar chords first, but hear me out, okay? I think that half bar chords do not use the same muscles you use to form a full bar chord. And the danger here is that it might not translate to a full bar chord, number one. Number two, you might end up always going back to the safety zone of using that half bar chord. And what you want to do here in this video, or what I want to help you achieve in this video, is just to jump right to your full bar chords right away. So the first step is very simple. All I'd like you to do is to form the F bar chord shape. Now you can use any other bar chord shape if you want, but I'm just going to start with F. If you're not too sure, I'm going to put the bar chord on the screen, just form it. And the first thing I'd like you to do, once you're quite comfortable with forming the shape, start letting go and leave your thumb on the fretboard like this. And what I'd like you to do is from nothing, from thin air, you form the shape like that. One more time, from thin air you let go, I mean you let go and then from thin air you form the shape. Now the idea here is to go as slow and as accurate as possible. It's not a race, so don't try and rush it. And what you're going to find is that the more repetitions you do, and this will take you less than a minute to do it, the more repetitions, give yourself five to eight repetitions, the more repetitions you do, you find that you're, gonna, you're getting more and more familiar with forming the shape out of thin air. And that is a trick because you want to be able to recall the shape fast. Okay, so that's step one. Okay, now for the second step, we're going to take a bunch of chords. We're going to take C major, we're going to take A minor, F, and we're going to take G. So the F is going to be our bar chord that we're going to try and change to. The first part of this step is we're going to take, uh, because we're going to go from A minor to F, i like you to form the A minor shape. And I would like you to practice changing from A minor to F. We're just honing the skill of changing from one chord to the next. Just like this. Keep trying it. No, you don't have to strum, you just use your left hand or your right hand and just practice changing from A minor to F since that's where we're going. Now the next step is we're going to take a strumming pattern and each chord will be four beats of this pattern. One and two and three and four and, and then you change the chord. So make sure that you can change chords first smoothly. I will cover that in another video. So what I like to do is to practice changing from C to A minor to F and to G. And this is where I'm going to demonstrate, okay? And it looks like a negative exercise, but this is really exactly what I want you to do. Pretend I'm you right now. You're, you want to get your bar chords to be better. And I'm one of you right now. So here's what I'm going to do. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. So what's happening here? What is happening here is that the idea behind this is you need to change your chords within context. The most inefficient way is to do this. I'm going to take it from A minor, three and four, and, and then you pause, take your time to change to F, and then you try and strum it. No, you must try and change to the F chord within context. So I know some of you are saying, oh, but I'm still, I still can't change the chord on time. Well, it doesn't really matter. What matters is, as long as you get the F bar chord shape before the fourth beat or by the fourth beat, that's all that matters. So if you're struggling, three and four and one and two and three and four, and that's all you need to do. Just don't slow down, don't pause. Changing in context is the, the, the secret to it. So what I'm going with here is that once you get very comfortable changing to that F bar chord in time, uh, and you can change it within context, I mean, the strength will come with it. 
because with bar chords, you're dealing with two things, trying to learn the shape well and trying to get the sound to be good. While in this exercise, we're trying to eliminate uh, changing the bar chord as fast as possible. And then over time, your bar chord will start to sound better and better because of the familiarity of it, because of the muscle memory. Let's try another chord progression just to give you another example. We're going to take D, B minor, which is a fifth string bar chord, G and A. Now take note that you're not supposed to cross all six strings. And do the same method. First step, get the B minor chord, let it go. Try that a few times. And then if you need to, go from D, practice going from D to B minor. And now use the same method. I'm going to use a down, down, down strumming pattern. And I'm going to change the, try to change the bar chord on time like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. That's another example that you can try and practice. Now the third step is going to take a little bit more time. But what I'd like you to do is to look for songs that you're currently learning. Don't shy away from the bar chords and include these bar chords as part of your song learning process. Remember to change it in context on, on and on time. Now, even if the bar chord doesn't sound as good as you want first, you need to pretend it sounds good first because you want to get used to changing to the bar chord on time. And then over time, your bar chord will sound better. I guarantee you that. If you like this video content so far, please do subscribe and give a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching up to here. I hope to see you soon in another video.